Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the problem on assignment. So, let's get started. Now, here is a question in front of us. It is given that four new machines, which are M1, M2, M3 and M4. These four machines are to be installed in a machine shop. There are five vacant places. That is A, B, C, D and E. It means for four machines, there are five vacant places available. Now, because of the limited space, machine M2 cannot be placed at C. So, this is the restriction. It means M2 cannot be placed at C. Then, and M3 cannot be placed at A. And machine 3 cannot be placed at location A. So, the assignment cost in rupees is shown below. Whatever the cost they have given, this is corresponding to the assignment cost. It can be in terms of rupees. It can be in terms of hundreds, thousands, lakhs, etc. So, we have to find the optim optimal assignment schedule. That is, we have to assign these four machines to the five locations in such a way that the cost is minimized. Now, to start the solution to this problem, first we have to see that if the total number of rows and columns are equal. When we look into this problem, there are four machines. It means there are four rows and five vacant places, so five columns. So, it means there is an unbalance in the number of machines. So, we have to add a dummy row over here. And the method which we are using here, it is called as the Hungarian method. So, let's get started with the solution part. Into the solution part, I would be drawing the table again with 5 rows and 5 columns. Here we have machine M1, similarly M2, M3 and M4 and this is the dummy row denoted by capital D. Dummy row should contain the values as 0 because we are adding the dummy row in order to balance the problem because here we have 5 columns. Columns are the vacant places, they re represent the vacant places A, B, C, D and E. Then the restriction where we cannot make the assignment like for example machine M2 cannot be placed at location C so the second row and third column is having the restriction similarly machine M3 cannot be placed at location A so third row and first column having the restriction the next thing now when it is balanced is we have to check starting from the first row if there are zeros present in the row and if they are not present we have to at least put a single zero and the method is in the first row select the least value, least value is 4. Now 4 would be subtracted from each term in the first row. So 4 minus 4 that is 0, 6 minus 4 that is 2, next 10 minus 4 that is 6, 5 minus 4 is 1 and 6 minus 4 that is 2. So that is the first row. Next for the second row we have the least value as 4, 4 would be subtracted from each term, I will write it. 7 minus 4 that is 3, 4 minus 4 is 0, 5 minus 4 is 1 and 4 minus 4 is 0. Then the third row the least element is 2 subtracting 2 from each term, 6 minus 2 that is 4, 9 minus 2 is 7, 6 minus 2 is 4 and 2 minus 2 is 0. Then fourth row th th 2 is the least element so subtracting 2 from each term. Now. We have to check that if there are zeros in each row, yes, there are zeros in each row and zero should be there in each column. Yes, they are there in each column because of the dummy row present. Now, start making the assignment over here. Like for example, if I am making an assignment over here in the first row, then there should not be any other zero in this row. There is no zero over here and there should not be any other zero in this column. So, a zero is present over here. I need to cancel this zero because no other assignment should be made in this row or column. Next, when I am taking the second row, the element over here, I am assigning it. No other zero should be there in this column. It should be cancelled or in this row or column. Next, for the third element, if I am making an assignment, no other zero should be there in this column or in this row. Then, 
if I am selecting an element over here that is in the fourth row no other should zero should be there in this row it is not there in the column yes one zero is there it should be cancelled out and when I look into the fifth row here also there is a zero so no other zero should be there in this row it is cancelled no other zero should be there in this column now we can easily see that the assignments have been made so I am writing those assignments and the answer should be written in this way it has been completed successfully so here on one side we have machines on the other side, side we have the vacant places or locations so starting with machine M1 M1 is placed at location A because the assignment is made over here M2 is placed at B whereas M3 is placed at location E and M4 is placed at location D so these are the assignments at the same time we see that the restrictions are also taken care of then therefore here the minimum cost would be because they have given it in terms of rupees for that whatever the assignment we have made I am going to mark the same assignment in the original problem here instead of 0 here there is 4 the assignment then in the second row second column next third row fifth column and then the fourth row and fourth column so the machines are assigned and this dummy assignment won't be considered because this dummy row was only used to balance the problem so the minimum cost would be by adding all these values so it is 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 2 so it is in terms of rupees that gives me the answer as 12 so in terms of 12 now this 12 may be in terms of hundreds like for example it may be 1200 12000 or it, it may even go further so this is the cost which they have given and with that we have found the minimum cost and the respective assignments so that was the end of the problem at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching